Hello guys and welcome back to another Killing Floor 2 server tutorial. I had a couple people ask me in the comment and PM'd me a couple questions from my last two videos and something that came up is something that I had also been looking for which is basically when you when you play into someone else's server and they have some kind of custom map on them for example the KF testing map things like that and it gets downloaded on your machine where does the there's the map file go so to answer that question this will be a really quick video what you want to do is go in your documents search my games under there you'll find killing floor 2 kf game folder and the cache folder is what you want now this will have a bunch of randomly named files and these will be all custom mod files if you want to call them so and maps that you downloaded from playing on servers if you double click the cache ini file you'll get a listing of what each one is so for example if i wanted to find this map the kf defend thyself beta map it's something that ends in 5fd7 so for instance this guy and mm, uh, once you copy paste this map out of here for example i'll do an example of this one let's say i copy this map and then i go back into my kf killing floor folder under my steam folder which is common and killing floor 2 kf game brood pc and maps what i'm going to want to do is just make a folder with the name of the map, which in this case is defend thyself self v1 beta and then paste it in there and rename the whole file to the name of the map that you can copy paste from the listing like so and add dot kfm which is the extension for the maps once you say yes to here this should become a readable map file for the game and you should be all set to play now this will work in the same way if you have a custom server or a dedicated server as i showed you in the other videos you would just go into your server folder KF game and brood PC and maps and would we'll do the same job. You would just create a folder with this name and then put the file in there and turn it into a map file. Another question that came up is, okay, then once I have all these maps into my single player folder, which is the Steam one that we were working on earlier, can I have other friends just join me, kind of like Minecraft style, when I'm playing on my own map and I just put the map up I say open to LAN and then people can join me the short answer to that is no for now you can't do that that easily but what you can do is just copy this map that you put into your single player folder and paste it into your dedicated server map folder right once I do that and I add it to my list of custom maps which you can find in uh, a how-to on how to do that in my second tutorial then you'll be able to play with your friends because it will be on your dedicated server but for now this is the only way to do it the only way people can join you is if you create a dedicated server yourself that is all for today i hope this helped you guys because i've been looking for this for a while and i will see you next time